to balance out the teams a little bit, I'm gonna go with Galaga Guy. Galaga Guy. Now they're finally getting a little fun over there. Okay, okay. that's good. That man is playing Galaga. The Screen Junkie Show, brought to you by Squarespace. Build your own website, regardless of skill level with Squarespace. What's going on, guys? Something uh, pretty cool in the studio here today. We're lucky to have the directors of Captain America Civil War and Captain America Winter Soldier, Joe Russo and Anthony Russo. Gentlemen, first, let me thank you for delivering the goods with Captain America Civil War, some of the best action, one of the best superhero films uh, I've ever seen. Well, wow, that's, that's awesome. Cool thank you thank very you. much for saying that. So, without giving too much away, the airport scene might be the best action scene in the history of comic book movies. How much pressure did you feel to get that scene just right, and did you use toys to practice? Oh my gosh, yeah. great, great questions. Like, look, Right from the moment that we decided to go down the road of Civil War for Cap's third movie, um, yeah, we knew that that scene was going to be the centerpiece of the movie. I mean, it, it had the most pressure on it, you can imagine. We spent months and months prepping it, and yeah, there were figures involved. Because it's hard, that fight is so big, it was very difficult for us to always track where everybody was at any given moment in that fight. Okay, again, without giving too much away, our, all everybody knows, our fans know that Spidey is in the movie. How important was Spidey to the story? Was there a with Spidey and a without Spidey version? There never was. I mean, I think at one point there was a conversation where uh, Marcus McFeely were asked to remove Spidey if the deal didn't work out. Uh, it was not an issue that we, it was not a moment that we paid a lot of attention to because we, as directors knew that the deal was so complicated to get done. If you give anybody the, the, the inclination that the movie can be accomplished without that character in it, they may want to you know, yeah. back away Choose from the, the pain. Yeah. Yeah. Choose that the hurts, easy That out. hurts my feelings. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. so we just kept saying that the movie is not accomplishable without this character in it. Approve Gadam on Facebook asks, uh, how do you balance and give attention to each of the superheroes in Civil War? From the beginning of our journey as filmmakers, Joe and I have always loved ensembles. Okay, yeah. like our first movie, Welcome to Collinwood, was an ensemble. A lot of our TV work, Arrested, Community, Happy Endings, all ensembles. We take passes where we think about the story from beginning to end. Even though it's Captain America's movie, you know, we will step through the story from every other character's point of view. Mm -hmm. Literally, so that you can follow the character from the moment they enter the story to the moment they exit the story. And we just think about the whole movie as theirs for a moment. There's going to be somebody in the movie theater that came to the movie just for that one character, no matter how much screen time they have. So you want to make sure that fan gets the best experience they could possibly have. See the character do some really cool things, do some surprising things, have an emotional arc that's very engaging and relatable. So the whole, the whole package. So we try to build, even, if, even for very small amounts of screen time, we try to build something satisfying and fun and figure out the coolest thing we can do with that character and how they can intersect with the bigger story. You have former friends Iron Man and Captain America clashing. Uh, another big superhero battle just happened. Batman v Superman. Did you have any thoughts on uh, that film and that clash? We haven't yeah. seen it yet, gotcha. to be honest, because we literally just delivered the movie about four days ago and then rolled right into press for this film. I think we had about 12 hours off. Have you seen yeah. Deadpool yet? He has seen Deadpool. I yes. have not. Tim Miller is a very uh, good friend of ours. Could you ever see Deadpool jumping into the MCU? You'd love to see Deadpool yeah. jump into the MCU. How great would that be? Yeah, I mean, the great thing about Marvel is, like, not, you know, you, they, they, there is an attitude of nothing's impossible, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean everything is possible. You gotcha. just have to chase it. Guys, thank you for taking the time to answer those questions. Now, I'd like to shift gears. We are going to have the ultimate MCU fantasy draft. Anthony Russo and Joe Russo, brother versus brother, are gonna pick their teams of superheroes and participants in the Marvel Universe, and we will decide who has the ultimate team of Marvel heroes. Let's do this. Fellas, to decide who picks first, classic rock, paper, scissors. Rock, rock paper, scissors, one, two, three. I thought it's I was going to fake him out. Yep. yep. You have the number one choice, Anthony. Okay, look, I know what Joe is worried about, exactly what he's worried about. So I'm going to keep, keep the game interesting. And since this is a Captain America movie, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Cap. Avengers! Here's the great thing about Cap. If he doesn't lead you to victory, he will at least guarantee that you lose gracefully. He made a very popular choice. Okay. Strategically, though, mm -hmm. strategically, uh, I am going to go with Scarlet Witch. Yes. Who is the most powerful character? Joe making a power play right out of the gate. Anthony, <laughs> what do you got? So I will go with Vision next. Boom. 
Thank you. Vision. Joe's going for the power move. I've got to All come right. with the power move. Okay, I'm gonna go with Thor. Anyone else? Is Odin up there? Because I think Odin would whip some Thor ass. Let's call that check. We will fight! All right, if we're gonna go with the Asgardians, I think a team up of Thor and Heimdall. Asgardians flying off the board. How could they not? Yeah, right? I wish to know how that happened. I will go with Hulk. He can't, you know, he's still sitting up there all alone. Puny god. It was smart to have a run on his guardians. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna continue that run and I'm gonna take Lady Sif. There you go. I've got this completely under control. This is exactly what the writing room looks like okay. when we sit there with Marcus McFeely. We actually do have a board like this with the characters on it. If you believe it. And we do move we them like around as we're trying to figure out storytelling. That's yeah. awesome. It's really yes. true, yeah. Okay, I gotta go with Iron Man. Gotta go Iron Man. I am Iron Man. They may be at odds in Civil War, but right here, Captain America and Iron Man fighting Look together. Look at that, united. I, I have to go with a deceptively powerful character who in the books uh, uh, is almost as strong as the Hulk. Spider-Man. Spidey. Nice, nice. Hey everyone. Joe's favorite character growing up, so it's fitting. I'm going to go with uh, Stan Lee next because he clearly can't die. Yes. You know, that's a very good power. I hope you didn't just curse him. Okay. <laughs> Egg shell shield. That just allowed, that just opened a door for me to make a run on some more powerful <laughs> characters here. I'm going to go with Groot. I am Groot. Every time you take the foot off the gas, he seizes the opportunity, <laughs> Anthony. He's very serious on that level. One of the considerations here, which team would be more fun to hang out with? Who'd be better in the locker room? You've cleared it up, Howard the Duck. Howard Thank the you. Duck. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. Thank you for that. Gross. To balance out the teams a little bit, I'm gonna go with Galaga Guy. Galaga Guy. Yes. Yep. Now they're finally getting a little fun over there. Okay, okay. that's good. That man is playing Galaga. I have it on good authority that Scarlett Johansson will be very upset if uh, she's being a key player in your films, but not on anyone's team. That's definitely a consideration, but I also can't keep Cap and Bucky apart, so the Winter Soldier. Who the hell is Bucky? All right, to counteract that, I'm gonna take Panther. A devastating, strong new character. I'm hearing my daughter's voice in my head, which recently what said to say? me, Dad, you know, a lot of people think Hawkeye is old fashioned, but I just love him. He's so amazing with the arrows. There you that go. says Hawkeye. I move out of motion. None of this makes sense. I'm going to burst the TV bubble. I'm going to grab Jessica Jones. I'm just trying to make a living. You know, booze costs money. Are we ever going to see any crossover between the MCU and the TV? Well, oh, look, you just did. You okay, just there did. you go. <laughs> way to, way to <laughs> sidestep that question. <laughs> now I will go for Black Widow. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Room secure. I'm gonna go with Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Mm, I wanted him. What, you haven't heard of me? No, you wouldn't have heard of me. To make the leader of my team happy, mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring his, his other bestie, Falcon, over to my side. Falcon. It's really important to me that Cap never finds out about this. Uh, War Machine. Boom. <laughs> Boom, Star-Lord. Star-Lord. Who? Star-Lord, man. I'm gonna go with another of my favorite characters growing up, the Punisher. Oh yeah, badass. I am the Punisher! I'm right here! You want it, I'll give it to you! Okay, final, final four. four picks. Down to the okay. final four picks. Dynamics between my team players, I feel like that's a big part of the equation. Chemistry! So, you know, I'm gonna get Nick Fury over there to really, like, make everything work properly. We need the coach. But if you wanna stay ahead of me, you need to keep both eyes open. Let me see here. I do. I need a leader. Well, take Howard Stark. It's not only brother versus brother anymore. Yep. Father versus son. Wow. We are ready. A lot of daddy issues because you have Odin over uh, here uh, versus oh, Thor right. over there. Oh, yeah, Did that? Man. I am going to go with Happy Hogan because I am so grateful to John Favreau for kicking off the entire MCU with. The amazing Iron Man. Yes. Man. Badge, guys. I put a memo in the toilet. Come on. That's a very emotional pick. It's hard for me to trump that. And here's what I'm going to have to do. I cannot leave this character on the board uh, lest I uh, incur the wrath of, uh, of the, all of the Marvel TVverse fans. I'm going to take Daredevil as my last pick. Daredevil. Take your shot. There you go. Now, poor Quicksilver's sitting up there. He's dead. 
It's true. It's so true. It's, uh, it's kind of a lame duck pick. But yeah. all of this is pretend. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. Team Joe Russo, Team Anthony Russo. Who do you think will dominate this epic Marvel Smackdown? Let us know in the comments section below. Tell us who would win and why. We want to know. I want to thank the Russo brothers for taking the time to make our dreams come true. And I want to thank you for watching. I'm Hal Rudnick. Hit me up on Twitter. Bye-bye. Hey, Screen Junkies. Want to see the Russo brothers give their epic commentary to our honest trailer for The Winter Soldier? Then click the box or the description below to see them take our trailer team to task and give behind-the-scenes insights on the making of the film. Check it out. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. Build professional-looking websites regardless of your skill level with Squarespace. For more information, click the link in the description below.